My name is Thomas Vale, or at least it was. I'm a photographer. I had it all. Wife, Allison, friends, a career. And in one moment, it was all taken away. All because of a single photograph. I have it. They want it. And they will do anything to get the negative. I am keeping this diary as proof that these events are real. I know they are. They have to be. Months have passed since I've heard a familiar voice speak my name. Since I've seen recognition in someone's eyes. I continue to hold out hope in spite of what I'm living through. That whoever has done this to me might have overlooked something. A small piece of my life forgotten, tucked away in a distant corner. I've secured a job working as a messenger for Shimera Photo Works. Shimera is a large photo syndicator. Some years ago, I sent a dozen photographs to them for sale to syndication. I'm hoping that somewhere, buried deep within their archives, I might find some trace of my past. 9.40? Hell, he could have been there and back by now. Oh, he's not still dipping into that street mine chick over in Charlestown. At least she'll keep quiet about it. Oh, hey, mirror image, 47th and Tower, yesterday. Hey, did you page me with this number? You get one page on that puppy and one page only. 911. That means it's me. That means get the lard out and get to a telephone. Nobody else has your pager number. Hey, Joey. Yeah? I need something from the stacks. Okay. Don't no, bring those boxes over here. Yeah. No. Hey, Marco. You gotta run. Arlance Publishing. Andale. Pronto. Where's the key? On the counter where I left it. No, I need the visible one. this? Things really went to hell when you left that pretty wife of yours sitting in that restaurant while you went to the men's room for a cigarette. What do you want? I want to help you, Tom. <laughs> I'll bet. Then you'd profit by that wager. I really do want to help you. Well, why don't you start by telling me who you are? Meet me tonight at the Museum of Science, fourth floor. 11 p.m. I'll make sure it's worth your while. 
while. I forgot the part about make sure you come alone. Given the state of your life, it hardly seemed necessary. Okay, that's the, uh... That's the Museum of Science. Put your pad away, Mr. Vale. Fourth floor, 11 p.m. will turn out to be an educational experience for you. He's looking at you, kid. What do you want? I told you. I'm here to help you. Why? I'm going to help you because you're going to help me. Not likely. A question worth contemplating. Should we pull the plug? For the last 10 years, I've been working for the people that you've been trying so hard to find. <laughs> and just who might that be? I'm sure I don't need to tell you that my employers are a powerful, well-organized group. They have little tolerance for people who come between them and their objectives. Yeah. And what are those objectives? When I began my association with them, I was under the impression that their objectives were the same as mine. That no longer seems to be the case. Oh, you don't get invited to the company retreats much anymore. Once a member of the club, always a member. I continue to do my job, but you might say that I have something of an attitude problem. I'm going to take them down, Mr. Vale. Piece by piece if I have to, but I am going to destroy them. Well, great. Then why all this? Why not just walk away, turn them in? To who? the authorities. You still don't understand, do you? They are the authorities. Why tell me? The man I work for is Richard Grace. He is one of the highest ranking members of the organization. And you're just volunteering his name? For a purpose. I told you, Tom, I'm here to help you. If you help me, what do you want? I want you to kill Richard Grace. Open it. The man you are looking at is Richard Grace. The face is probably not familiar, though he should be of some importance to you. Why is that? Go to the county video archives. Give the card to the person behind the counter. You'll be handed a videotape. I have no doubt you will find it interesting.
I'm sure you're all aware that I've called this session to consider a matter of erasure. You've all had a chance to review this case. I have strongly recommended his erasure to the board, and I expect that you will green light this project. It is of personal interest to me. support in this matter. As of now, Thomas J. Vale of Evanston, Illinois is no longer. enjoyed the video what's your point what did you think that was going to accomplish i just thought you might be interested in putting a face to the man who was responsible for your erasure a face isn't what i need i also thought that once you knew more about richard grace it would make your decision to kill him that much easier i haven't made that decision You know, on the other hand, you may have just pointed me towards a man who holds the answers to my questions. A man who does me more good alive than dead. You presume quite a bit, Mr. Vale. Richard Grace executes. He does not initiate. <laughs> You're telling me that the man who approved my erasure doesn't know the reasons why. He's a man who thrives on power on knowing that he can control or ruin others. In short, he's a sadist, well suited for his position. If given the opportunity to know why, he would not be interested. Although in your case, he did have something personal at stake.
Richard Grace had a home, a life, maybe even a wife who loved him. What she knows and doesn't know about her husband's job might make no difference at all. If someone had told me a few months ago that I would be sitting here watching the man who took my life and debating whether or not I could take his life, I wouldn't have believed it. But now, watching the routine, the normalcy, who knows? The difficult truth is, despite my rage and my anger, killing Richard Grace would not change my life in any way. special you were looking for? No, uh, looking for a man, actually. A, a friend of mine, I thought I saw him going to that back room just before I came in. He's got gray hair, about 5'11", wearing a dark gray suit. I... And you saw him come in here? Yeah, he, he talked to you for a second, and then he... went in the back. I'm sorry, sir, you must be mistaken. Thank you. church on fourth they say confession is good for the soul and if i don't come beginning to understand why they consider your reconditioning and, and elimination a priority. You are, to coin a phrase, a pain in the ass. Thank you. 
You came extremely close to putting our arrangement in jeopardy. We don't have an arrangement. You do seem to possess an exaggerated sense of self-importance, Mr. Vale. Well, let's just say I've had encouragement. Touché. Fortunately, you did not do enough damage to prevent us from proceeding with our plans. Sit down, Mr. Vale. You'll leave when I want you to leave. It's all so easy for you people, isn't it? What's that? Just eliminating who or what stands in your way. Well, I'm not you. Not yet. I would have thought the most recent photographs would have been sufficient incentive. What's his connection to my wife? Your wife? Allison. How did you get those photographs? What are they doing together? Richard Grace leaves town tomorrow morning. He'll be gone for almost a month. His wife left today ahead of him, so he will be alone for the next 24 hours. It would be best for you to kill him tonight. Sorry, I made other plans. easy is it to kill another human being? In some strange way, killing Richard Grace could be considered an act of self-defense, albeit after the fact. After all, Richard Grace is the man who murdered me, the man who, without care or concern, took my life. As I walked towards his house, I kept telling myself that I was more interested in having my questions answered than I was in revenge. I kept telling that to myself. Though I'm not sure I believed it.
very little encouragement to use. Let's just put it down. There's no money in the house. I don't want your money. Dear God, it's you. Didn't think I'd make it this far, did you? How oh, did you? Look, if, you, if you're going to kill me, I'd at least like time to be able to leave a note for my family. Can give you the opportunity you never gave me? Go to hell. Go to hell, Mr. Grace. Besides, from what I can see, you've been spending most of your free time with my family. With your family? Oh, you mean those? I mean those. Sit down. Looks as though the shoe is on the other foot. So. Why? Why what? Why was my life erased? Why did you steal my photograph? Why is it so important for you to get the negative? What'd you do to my wife? Your wife? How does it feel, Richard? How does it feel to know someone else is in control? Know someone else can make the decision as to whether you live or die. It wasn't personal. You're a cold bastard. Now think about it. Think, Richard. I want you to think about your wife and your sons. And I want you to think about my finger on this trigger. Mm. This takes so little, doesn't it? Just the slightest amount of pressure. You never see those boys grow up. You never hear anybody say, I love you. You never get to say it to anybody. No past. No present. No future. Let's shut up! Uh. You created me, you son of a bitch. The man standing here with his finger on the trigger is your creation. And the rest of your life is up to me. All I have to do, I just have to make one small, simple decision. A man like you is probably wondering why I would even hesitate. I mean, it's just a life, isn't it? There's so many others. I mean, why should a person hesitate? About taking one here and there. At the end of the day, it's kind of like turning off a light switch! Then again, that would make me you. That's something I could never live with. So I'd like you to answer some questions. Thanks. What are you doing here?
Police Detective Roger Coleman told us earlier. It's usually a pretty quiet neighborhood, so there was no one on the streets at the time of the shooting. We have recovered the murder weapon, however, and there's a good deal of trace evidence at the scene. That trace evidence, Detective Coleman told me, is in the form of hair, blood, fingerprint, and fiber traces left behind at the scene by the murderer. We'll have updates as they happen. Reporting live from Salem, this is Has anyone come in the last three or four hours? People come in and out of here all the time. It's a hotel. If you do better than that, or we're gonna have to do a room to room. You got a warrant? <clears throat> oh, come on, man. Okay, guys, room to room. Yes, sir, you heard Peterson, start on the top floor, work your way down. Hey. Open up. Mind if I take a look around, Mr. Vale? <laughs> well, do I have a choice? No. Come on in. You going somewhere? Oh, come on, man. Sue me. I don't use hotel dressers. You never know who's been there before you. this is all about we're looking for somebody well that's it i just you're just looking for somebody that's all you need to know you in your room all night ah oh, yeah since i guess about nine i got an early appointment yeah right Get up, please. Excuse me? I said get up. Get back. Who is your appointment with? The dry cleaner? I can explain that. Yeah, you will. Hanson, oh. yeah, I got him. 322.
was just told to bring you here. By whom? It's just a job, sir. Good luck. Wait a minute. <laughs> I hope you weren't expecting a movie. I tried to get a print of The Fugitive, but on such short notice. What do you want? I've already got the negatives. At the risk of repeating myself, Mr. Vale, I want to help you. Really? Oh, that's why you had me framed for murder. To help me! I wanted Mr. Grace dead. He's dead. If I'm happy, Mr. Vale, you'll be happy. Well, gee, it's a thrill a minute. Don't you see? We're both free and clear now. Richard Grace is dead. And once they've run your fingerprints and blood type, no one in the organization will suspect me. Well, how nice for you. You may have forgotten one thing, however. How is this supposed to help me? Grace is a casualty of war. It happens. You struck first. They know what a loose cannon you are. Think about it. Can they want you any more than they already do? Listen, the stakes are different now! It's not just about them and me anymore. It's about murder and the police. You still don't understand, do you? Oh, I understand. Now I have your organization and the police to deal with. Although I killed Mr. Grace, the organization doesn't know that. And they would never let you fall into the hands of the police or the legal system. Well, gee, I hope somebody tells that to the police. They already have. Come up to the light. story any time and make the ending come out any way they want. Not so my blood. My fingerprints on the gun. My people know that, Mr. Vale. The police and the public will believe otherwise. So you see, we have indeed killed one bird with two stones. Richard Grace is dead. I still hold my position with the organization, and you're cleared of any murder charges. Call it a show of good faith, Tom. I had them, and I returned them. Why? Tit for tat. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Flip flop, crisscross. A helping hand deserves another. What's this? Think of it as your personal filing cabinet. A filing cabinet overflowing with information about the very people you've been looking for. Why? Why give it to me? Because I make good on my word. I told you that I'd help you. What's in it for you? Isn't that clear by now? I want them taken down as much as you do. Oh, I see. We're partners. In a way. <laughs> What you learn from your filing cabinet will help you work your way to the top of the organization. Why don't you just draw me a straight line right through the front door? Oh, it gives me too much pleasure to think of the damage you can do to them on your way there. 